Welcome to the third episode of the FM Home Lab channel. In this episode we will have a look at the IF amplifier. This is the circuit uh, diagram for the uh, IF uh, amplifier. Uh, basically it uh, consists of four stages which is a uh, common base uh, amplifier. It amplifies a little bit. Um, these two stages are nearly identical. They are uh, cascode amplifiers and the uh, fourth and last, last stage is a uh, buffer which uh, doesn't uh, amplify anything. It just uh, prov provides uh, 360 ohms output impedance for the next stage which uh, needs a uh, 330 ohms input impedance. So that's a uh, quite nice a match. The input impedance of this amplifier is uh, 51 uh, ohms uh, by means of this uh, resistor here. These uh, uh, double cascode uh, amplifiers are nearly the same. The only difference is uh, uh, in this capacitor which is 100 uh, picofarads in this one and 250 in this one. The um, reason for that is uh, probably uh, caused by these hand wound coils which are not exactly identical. Uh, after uh, placing these coils I uh, manually tweaked these uh, capacitors on, uh, until they were uh, the best uh, match for the circuit. The gain for this uh, amplifier is uh, around uh, 60 uh, dB. This is the circuit I've been uh, building, I've been using as uh, the imp uh, intermediate uh, amplifier. The common base uh, circuit is around here. This is the uh, first stage, the cascode amplifier with the tuning capacitor. This is the second uh, common base uh, amplifier with its uh, tuning uh, capacitor over here. And finally here's the buffer uh, circuit. I've uh, connected uh, temporal uh, T-splitters uh, here for the next uh, experiments uh, which uh, we will uh, conduct. This uh, is uh, going uh, out into the channel 1 of the, oscill of the oscilloscope uh, whereas uh, this is the output of the uh, of the mixer. Uh, over to the right here we've got uh, the connection to channel 2 of the oscilloscope and this one is going out to the FM discriminator. Alright, let's uh, calculate the gain of this intermediate uh, amplifier. I've got uh, the scope uh, set up for uh, channel 1 to uh, be on, uh, on the input, uh, channel 2 to be on the output of the intermediate uh, frequency amplifier and what we're seeing now is the, uh, uh, the output of the, uh, the amplifier. The spectrum is centered at 10.7 uh, megahertz with uh, 100 kilohertz per division uh, uh, 100 kilohertz per division. What we see here is the signal of the, uh, the FM modulated uh, signal uh, coming in. Here are some uh, strange uh, products uh, coming out of the uh, mixer, I think. This uh, certainly is of uh, the mixer. I will discuss it in the next uh, video. Um, this is, uh, as uh, told, uh, this is uh, the input uh, signal. I will uh, change over to the output signal now. This is uh, much uh, higher, of course and uh, I'll put a cursor on. Uh, so this cursor is on top of the output signal. Switch back to the input signal. And that uh, gives us a gain of about 60 dBm. I have uh, set up the signal generator now to uh, perform a sweep. It's not uh, running uh, yet. Uh, first I will run it uh, by hand. It's at uh, the input signal is at uh, DC uh, now, and uh, uh, what you see here, uh, the the spectrum is uh, showing from uh, DC zero hertz to 20 megahertz, and what you see here, the spike. Uh, this is the output signal of the inter uh, IF uh, amplifier. This is the intermediate frequency at uh, 10.6 megahertz on which it uh, oscillates. Uh, I will uh, increase the uh, the input uh, frequency uh, now in uh, 1 megahertz uh, steps. It's at uh, DC now. It's 1 megahertz, 2, and a lot of uh, harmonics uh, appear and the uh, oscillation peak at 10.6 uh, megahertz uh, stays. 
it looks uh, really horrible uh, now but when frequency is increased, the input frequency is at 8 uh, megahertz uh, now uh, the, um, the input signal is uh, being uh, amplified uh, now and the self oscillation has uh, disappeared uh, as you can see here it's amplifying the input signal and only at what's it at uh, 14 megahertz the uh, the harmonics uh, appear again so uh, only in the region from 8 till 14 megahertz this uh, amplifier is uh, usable I will uh, change to uh, sweep mode now and adjust the frequency span of the spectrum it's from 5 until 15 megahertz uh, now the uh, frequency sweep is uh, going from 8 until 14 megahertz uh, now put the signal on max hold let's uh, see what uh, happens well it's uh, this is the frequency response from 8 till 14 megahertz I'll stop it uh, now this uh, seems to be a pretty uh, flat so the uh, uh, apparently the Q factor of the um, uh, resonant uh, tank circuits is uh, not uh, very uh, good it's a question if uh, this is uh, the optimal uh, solution and optimal setup for this uh, amplifier I will uh, prepare for the next uh, experiment uh, now this is uh, the next uh, experiment the, uh, there's no uh, input uh, signal uh, now um, the, this is the self oscillation which you can uh, see in the in the amplifier uh, now it's uh, uh, the uh, spectrum is uh, with uh, this one is at uh, 100 kilohertz per uh, division so it's from uh, 10.2 until 11.2 uh, megahertz uh, this is the center frequency of the band pass filter of the FM discriminator and we want uh, to tune on the slope of that which is at 10.6 uh, megahertz it's a little bit uh, off uh, now I will uh, try to adjust the uh, adjustable caps on the amplifier to get it on 10.6 uh, megahertz uh, now it's pretty touchy you see I cannot really get it onto it uh, now Look, uh, I, I make a big uh, change uh, now. Now, well, this uh, should be it, uh, more or less. It's uh, resonating at the uh, intermediate uh, frequency uh, now. Um, I don't uh, know if that is a problem or not. Uh, the uh, frequency response of the uh, amplifier showed it is uh, pretty flat uh, in this uh, region so I and it uh, doesn't uh, show any uh, if the input uh, frequency is uh, about uh, uh, not uh, too far away from the 10 uh, megahertz uh, in between uh, 8 and 14 megahertz it only shows the uh, amplified uh, peak of the input uh, signal so I don't uh, really know if it is important uh, to tune it uh, exactly at 10.6 uh, uh, megahertz uh, I'll show the signal as it is uh, being produced by self oscillation it looks uh, pretty horrible there's uh, quite a few harmonics in it of course okay I prepared for the next uh, experiment uh, as a recap um, this is uh, the signal, an audio signal, FM audio signal, as you can hear. Uh, this is uh, the 10.7 megahertz, which is the, the frequency of the, uh, the uh, FM discriminator. We tune at uh, 10.6 megahertz, and here you see the, uh, the signal uh, coming uh, in. It looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty neat, but if we uh, uh, zoom out, to we're at 100 kilohertz per uh, division uh, now we go to 2 megahertz we see the entire output of the uh, IF uh, amplifier 
and there's uh, quite a lot of other uh, signals uh, visible and uh, that's uh, very understandable because uh, there hasn't uh, been done very much uh, filtering the output of the uh, mixer is coming through the uh, IF amplifier and as we saw between 8 and 14 megahertz the uh, frequency response is uh, pretty uh, flat and also there are quite a lot of harmonics in, uh, in the signals so uh, this uh, doesn't uh, really uh, surprise uh, us we can also see it in the, the purple signal which is the, the output of the IF uh, amplifier it's not a very uh, constant amplitude uh, signal so uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, garbage uh, in uh, the signal but uh, because of the selectivity of the uh, FM uh, discriminator it uh, doesn't uh, produce uh, as horrible sounds as the signal may uh, suggest so uh, maybe uh, some uh, output uh, filtering on the uh, IF uh, amplifier or making it uh, more selective will uh, clean up this uh, signal or by a placing a limiter a tuned uh, limiter between the IF amplifier and the FM discriminator may clean up uh, this uh, signal uh, somewhat. Well that was it for uh, today. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, today's uh, video. Next time we will have a look at uh, antenna pre-amplifier and the mixer. Bye!